In the benchmark we did last week, we put the AMD GPU Pro Driver 17.10 against the latest version of Mesa that comes with Ubuntu 16.4, which is Mesa 12.0.6. Now many of you viewers took to the comments to point out that Mesa 12.0.6 is not the latest version of Mesa, that all new games require the latest version of Mesa, which is apparently Mesa 17.x, and that Mesa 12.x is super, super old. So if you can't tell by the title of this video, we're going to be benchmarking Mesa 12.0.6 against the latest version of Mesa, which is apparently Mesa 17.x. After the benchmark, we're going to answer some questions to clear up some confusion that the astute viewers in the previous video had. So let's get to those benchmarks. So you might have noticed a few things that were different about this benchmark. For starters, the benchmark was quite a bit longer than the previous one, and there's actually three bars in this chart. And the reason why I added the third bar was because, well, it's pretty obvious that Mesa 17.1 doesn't magically offer greater performance over Mesa 12.0.6. The third bar, the orange bar in this chart, is Mesa 17.1 with the latest kernel as of this video, which is 4.10. As you can see from this chart, just because you have the latest drivers or you're using a bleeding edge distro like Arch, doesn't automatically mean you're going to have better performance over everybody else. And then in some of these cases, we actually lost performance by having the latest driver. The Heaven benchmark in CSGO showed lower frames per second using the latest driver and latest kernel. So now let's go ahead and answer some of the comments that people left in the last video. The most popular comment points out the fact that most new games require Mesa 17.x and he's probably referring to the fact that Mesa 17.x supports OpenGL 4.5, whereas Mesa 12 only supports OpenGL 4.3. And while that's great and everything, we didn't test any games that required OpenGL 4.5. And I hope that I don't need to say it, but just because your driver supports a later version of your display API doesn't automatically mean you're going to get better performance, so I'm not sure why that matters. Furthermore, I'm using KDE Neon, which is based on Ubuntu 16.4, and Ubuntu 16.4 comes with Mesa 12.0.6. If I was going to benchmark the later version of Mesa, I would make a video specifically for that, which is, you know, what this video is for. So, yeah. The next most common comment is around the age of Mesa 12 and 17 and how Mesa 12 was released a long time ago and Mesa 17 is the most recent one. So I know that numbers are hard and apparently the Mesa team does too, that's why Mesa 12 was turned into Mesa 13 followed by Mesa 17. They're all part of the same family, they just changed their versioning scheme. So I'm guessing that people saying that Mesa 12 is old probably think that Mesa 12 came out in 2012 and if that's what you think, you are wrong. And you should probably do some research before leaving a comment saying that Mesa 12 is old because it's not. Most of the other comments revolve around the myth that if you have the absolute latest bleeding edge version of the drivers available that you'll somehow magically get better performance. And I'm pretty sure that this video proves that that is completely untrue. Now I know that there's going to be a lot of people in the comments saying, yeah, well, I run Arch and I have the latest version of the drivers, I get good performance, and that's good for you. But for most people, and most people run Ubuntu or a derivative of Ubuntu, that's just not true. And besides, upgrading your system to the latest unstable drivers and kernels introduces a huge amount of instability to your system. So you really want to risk your system and drivers locking up at random times because you're using an unstable driver just because you might see better performance in games? That seems like a stupid trade-off to me. The version of Mesa that comes with Ubuntu 16.4, which is what KDE Neon is based on, was released in January of 2017. And if your argument is that Mesa 12.x is old, Mesa 12 was released in July of 2016. It's not even a year old. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. 
I hope that you've enjoyed it, and I hope that you've learned something about Mesa and the fact that getting the latest version of Mesa doesn't automatically mean that you'll have better performance. If you've enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, thanks for watching.